frequency. With this particular video, I want to talk about divine darkness versus melanin slash carbon. What's the difference? And all this ties into black supremacy. Divine darkness is actually activated melanin or activated carbon. The etheric frequencies of the carbon is activated. Now, divine darkness comes in many different shades. That's why it's called darkness. Because there are many different shades of darkness. And that darkness is actually an aura. It's actually the source emanating itself on the object that it created. So the source is emanating on the object that it created and that aura creates like a dark aura or a hue of darkness. And there are many different degrees or shades of darkness. Now, divine darkness is the origin from which all things were created. So even light has come out of divine darkness. But when the light forgets about its origin, it loses its divine darkness. That's in whatever shade. So that means that everything that you see is some degree of light that emanates from the triple black darkness. So even the darkest person that you see is a light emanation, is an emanation from light from supreme darkness. Now, that darkness, if that object that is manifested in light is not self-conscious, is not aware of itself, then it no longer is divine darkness. It's just a different degree of light that proceeded from the darkness that knows itself not, that comprehends itself not. So there are many melanated people or dark people. They're melanated, but they have not come into divine darkness. Divine darkness is the occult world, the occult reality, the dark energies of creation and manifestation. That's divine darkness. It is the source energy. It is carrying the energy or or the spirit of the otherness of the other realm while in the realm of light while in the plane of light what we're calling the earth plane having a sun in the, in the sky we're in the plane of light that's the physical world dealing with light but light originates from darkness divine darkness creates light that's why when you close your eyes and you go to sleep you have light inside of your dreams where is that light coming from it's coming from divine darkness but if you get caught up into the light then the darkness is deactivated and now you live in an illusionary realm because you're not you're no longer in tune with the source you're no longer in tune with source energy you're living in the realm of a figment of your imagination. You're living in a light show, what we're calling the matrix. You're living in a realm where there's multiple perceptions based upon how light is fragmented. So you're not seeing reality at all. You're seeing different dimensions of how light can be perceived. True reality is darkness, is the darkness. And when you cast the light in the darkness in many different ways, the way light emanates from darkness creates perception, creates duality, creates multidimensionality, and creates the matrix reality where many things can be perceived of how infinitely light can travel through darkness. I'm teaching here. 
So when you get back to the level or the degree of divine darkness, see, this is why they want you to meditate, close your eyes, go back into the darkness, reconnect yourself with source energy so that you can be awakened. Divine darkness is being an awakened entity because you're not trying to live in the light. You are coming forth by night, coming forth out of the darkness, even in your awakened state. You realize that you are situated and suspended in the darkness and the nothingness, and you are using light to create and to express and manifest different dimensions and aspects of yourself. That light is an entertain is you entertaining the infinity of darkness. Light is how consciousness travels through supreme darkness. The darkness really being its infinite self is really being tr who you truly are. Darkness is who you are from what you have originated from. We talk about coming out of the womb and coming out of darkness. The womb is darkness. Awakening from darkness. We talk about that. So darkness is the primordial state. It is the original state of consciousness. It is the state of supreme balance and pre-creation. So now you have entities now that exist within divine darkness. They represent divine darkness. That means the melanin is activated in them. That their shadow the shadow reality, they live in the aware, complete awareness of that shadow reality. They carry the dark energies, which are the power, which is where the power originates from. It is the essence, the source, and the nature of reality is in darkness. So when you're in tune with that, you have the power of all creations. So you emanate and express power when you bring the darkness into this realm of light as you allow more darkness to come in through you. Through activating your melanin, you are allowing more darkness into this plane. Now we talk about melanin, which is a skin phenomenon. Dealing with your melanocytes and dealing with just your melanin. That's a physical reality. But darkness is an etheric and a metaphysical phenomenon that is beyond the material world that can be incarnated. We call it divine darkness when this consciousness or this awareness of the supreme black reality is incarnated into the material world because infinity exists in darkness. The Akashic records can only be opened in darkness. Darkness is the only thing, the only space for infinity to exist with inside of. So when you're in tune with darkness and the darkness within you is activated, your consciousness of the infinite realms is aware. The Akashic Records is wide open. All the spiritual planes, you have awakened to all of them simultaneously. And you're, you're bringing that type of energy, that type of knowing, that type of incarnate body is established on earth. You're bringing that divine energy of darkness. And you can use darkness to transform this illusion, this material plane, because darkness is a destructive force. It is the most creative force and yet the most destructive force. Because darkness destroys all perceptions of everything. So you need light to see, but when darkness overtakes that light, you can't make out any forms. Or any dimensions. So darkness destroys illusion. Darkness is the reality. It's from which reality comes from. Realities can be spawned from darkness. And darkness destroys light worlds. So divine darkness is a destructive force. But yet a creative force. Simultaneously. It's like Kali. It's like... The, the creator and the destroyer. So there are divine dark beings who have melanin but also have the metaphysical equiv equivalence to activated dark energy. 
they represent that cosmic dark energy that antimatter and that which is material is just light bouncing light photons just light so they are that antimatter which is destructive it's, it's the void that sucks matter in because darkness reabsorbs light light emanates from darkness but light can also be reabsorbed into darkness if you flash a flashlight into the forest it can only go so far penetrate so far before it will be absorbed into the darkness so divine darkness is when entities activate the melanin they're not just walking around with a whole bunch of melanin you know looking dark and they're just they're, they're, they just look dark they're just very dark skin but their melanin is not activated and their etheric melanin their spiritual body is not activated they are not bringing more dark energy and consciousness and expressing the power and the realization and the reality of darkness on this earth they're not bringing the darkness because people fear the darkness they tell you that the darkness is satanic and the darkness is evil and they preach their light dark doctrines and they preach their white magic doctrines they want you to think that darkness is wrong they tell you that Satan is the prince of darkness but the Illuminati is the illumination of light so light is really the true evil because it is misperception it is illusion it is deception darkness is truth but they got you afraid of darkness they got you afraid of the dark energy and entities who are coming forth with the dark energy you say it's voodoo it's Satan it's evil it's a cult no 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 it's divine darkness divine darkness will overshadow falsehood overshadow the illusion divine darkness versus melanin you can have all the melanin you want but if you don't tap into the divine darkness realm, then you're just dealing with the materialization of a physical being. Not the aura, not the spiritual self activated and existing simultaneously with the physical form. You're not incarnating darkness into this realm that can overshadow white supremacy. See, white supremacy is going to have to be overshadowed. White supremacy is going to have to be obliterated by the embodiment of dark energy. So you have to bring dark energy here. And dark energy is the consciousness combined with the melanin. Because it is the consciousness of the infinite darkness of the infinite realms. You've got to have the dark Endarkenment. We talk about enlightenment, but there must be an endarkenment because that's where the power comes from. Because in the darkness, there's fearlessness. Darkness is the embrace of death, which is an eternal and infinite state. Like death is not something that happens to people. Death is an eternal state of being. And those with dark energy is also pulling from the, the realm of death. They're extracting from the realm of death. Death is a fuel source. It's an energy source for them as well. The realm of the dead. The realm of the Ogun. They, they embody that and they bring that forth. And that makes many light beings afraid. Many people who could dance in the light. Because they know divine darkness will overshadow the falseness of light. People have been manipulating light. You live in a realm where light is being manipulated. 
even do different shades of melanin. It's just a manipulation of light. It's an illusion of light. We are all truly in darkness. Who we are is truly in darkness, is in darkness, suspended in nothingness. The entire matrix realm and fourth dimensional realm is a light show. It is a manipulation of light and it will be the overshadow of darkness that will destroy the manipulation, the light show. It will be overshadowed. Shadow. It will be a darkness that will be so powerful that light will not be able to penetrate. It will be an overwhelming darkness. It will be a very absolute darkness. And that's what we need to get back into. The dark energies will overtake it. Everything. It will cleanse this whole realm of illusion. So divine darkness has nothing to do with how much melanin a person has. And that's going to that's blow some people. It's about how much activated melanin you have. How much metaphysical, spiritual, and, and the conscious and metaphysical equivalence to melanin do you have. Your spirit is darkness. Your spirit is melanin. It's just as a dark entity, as you begin to activate that black supremacy within you, you physically can incarnate more darkness in this realm because you're, the, you're walking in physical darkness, but you also need metaphysical and astral darkness. You need the occult energy. You need the energy of the dead, the energy of infinite void and infinite nothingness so that you can pull the illusion into a vacuum. So you can create enough void, a black hole, to, to apocalyptically destroy the illusionary realm to recreate a divine utopia, to create a nirvana, to create heaven on earth, to basically destroy the matrix. Divine darkness can be tapped into by entities of all shades of melanin. If they are not afraid, it is a fearless state. It is a state of, of power, undiluted power, concentrated dark energy. This King Noble Black Supremacy. Join my new website at www.kingnobleblacksupremacy.com. Donate and don't hate.